Hello everyone to the fifth part of my Asian Cup jersey review. Today we look at Group E, which uh, color-wise is very similar to what we just saw in Group D yesterday. A lot of white, red and there's one kit that sticks out a little bit with green. So uh, let's have a look. The CD team of course was Saudi Arabia, which play in the same jerseys that we already saw at the World Cup. Um, very simple jersey, uh, Nike template of course, with white, then uh, some light green accents around the collar. Uh, and then of course you have the new crest, which is unfortunately a slightly darker green, but I absolutely love this new crest for Saudi Arabia. I think this is such a huge improvement on just having the palm there. They had actually a decent crest, but I think this one is even better. Now it has the new nickname, the Falcons, but you still have the palm kind of there. It's really nicely looking. Uh, and of course there's a little bit of a soccer ball in there as well, but I don't think uh, it's that bad. And then you have KSA, which is the FIFA code, which means Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Um, that one I probably would drop. Uh, same as I would probably yeah, use the light shade of green all throughout. They have, of course, the off-center number, but I think this is a really, really nice looking jersey. Collar could use something better. I like the taping on, on, on the back um, in light green. It makes a lot of sense. It looks very classy, simple yet classy. I stick with my eight stars from the World Cup. The away jersey, um, we haven't seen it very often except for the opener uh, at the World Cup where it was played in all green, a little bit to my surprise. Nothing really wrong with it except it loses all its accents. Uh, it is just a green jersey uh, with white numbers. I wish that there was maybe a teeny bit more white sprinkled on there. On the other side, it's quite effective uh, in the way it looks, but um, you know, green jerseys, unless there's something special to it, they always tend to kind of disappear against the green backdrop of the um, uh, pitch. And therefore uh, I'm never that happy with green jerseys, to be honest. So for that reason alone, it's not a bad kit. It has all the positives that the other one had, the home kit as well, but just a little bit more accenting should be on there for that only seven stars. Qatar, um, pretty much the same thing as Saudi Arabia, but now in maroon, uh, which is the national color. I gotta give it the crest is a really nice one. You have a little bit of flag in there. You have this nice uh, Arabic inscription, and then you have a soccer ball that is actually not the classic soccer ball, but there is some nice patterning on there. And then of course, Qatari Football Association. Other than that, there's a really not much more on this shirt. Um, I love the color. I mean, you know, I love uh, my Roma shirts. I just, again, like with Saudi Arabia, I wish there was teeny bit more accent on there. Just the name and number, uh, it's a little bit too little. But again, I would give also seven stars because it's not a bad look. I gotta say I have not seen the Qatari away shirt. Um, really, uh, if I find it, I just would imagine it's the same thing in white. Uh, hopefully with the maroon numbers. If it's maroon numbers, I will stick with seven stars numbers. But yeah, um, the Qatari kit's nothing bad, but um, you know, a little bit more could be done. But I, I think I over like it, especially the crest is pretty sweet, even for a circular one. Pretty sweet, I think is also how I would describe the Lebanon shirts by Capelli. And so far we have Capelli seen only once when I talked in the Champions League about Ike Athens, so, uh, new, newish supplier, at least uh, to me, maybe they have been around for, for a while. Um, what I love about it, again, it's a simple red shirt, but they have this really nice shirt collar, um, almost a little bit rugby style. I'm not sure if they have a button. Uh, it's very defined. I think I really like this look, uh, kind of a little bit bold, a little bit uh, this early messy looking, but not in a bad way. Then you have, similar to Jaco here on the uh, sleeves, some uh, red squares, which is kind of the Capelli uh, signage. Uh, signage and then we have the Lebanon crest which of course is the cedar tree with a soccer ball in post yeah we can get rid of that but I think it looks overall nice I think if it was just a tree without the ball it would look even better
I like the simplicity of this shirt, but it's I still find it a bold look. This white collar is really bold. And for that, I'm gonna give Lebanon eight stars for that. Even, they even have a really nice font going with it. Uh, the away shirt flips the colors. Uh, white and red, so we have white with a, a red collar. Looks even a teeny bit better this way although I think the white was already the white color on the red was also a very big statement um, don't want to make an extra difference I'm also gonna give this eight I think Lebanon really um, had a fine set of kits didn't have uh, the finest of teams but a fine set of uh, kits uh, that yeah I think some collectors would look forward to this which leaves us with the last team in this group which is North Korea unsponsored and very simple um, red with those weird white shapes and then the North Korean flag I actually like the italicized um, serifs uh, serif numbers on there but I'm sorry those kits look cheap uh, unfortunately uh, there is not much to them and with this shape here this is kind of you know you try to make it look like a mono soccer shirt, but you, it's just too much. If it was plain red, I think I would give this even high, but therefore the number on this shirt uh, gives it away. This is a four-star shirt, and um, the away shirt yeah, uses black numbers, which actually makes it, in a way, even worse, but I don't want to drop, drop it down really to three, but maybe I should. There's just nothing there except for this red weird thingy that comes out of nowhere, so for that... I'll give this one three stars. Well, let me know what you thought about all these shirts, which ones you liked, which ones you disliked. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Last part coming tomorrow. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe and with that i want to wish you a wonderful day